Hey Mobile Gamers, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at Double Dragon Neon. This one's coming at you for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So how's Double Dragon Neon going to stack up? Let's find out. First things first, do you remember Double Dragon? Double Dragon was an old arcade game in the 80s where you would kick and punch your way through tons of enemies as you try to save your girlfriend. Um, wait a minute, I've heard this before. Where have I heard this before? I think it was a standard 80s revenge tactic type scenario. At any rate, that aside, cliches aside, um, that's the game. And it was a fun to play. People were always slugging this one. A slugging quarter in the machine, just, just racking it up. It was great. Now they've tried to re-envision this game. After, after three successful titles on the original Nintendo, a successful title on the Super Nintendo, a uh, kind of lame crossover between Double Dragon and Battletoads. They're trying to, years later, bring that to the modern generation in HD. So here's what happens. They take and they release Double Dragon Neon, call it a game, but they forget the key thing here. The key thing is, is you need to make the controls work. And for that reason, I, I, let's just face it, guys. This one gets a shovel of shame. This one gets a shovel of shame because the controls here feel broken. Every move has to be deliberate. Every move, you, you shouldn't have to learn how to play a brawler. Brawlers are the stupid games that you check your brain at the door, and all you do is you mash on buttons, keep slugging the quarters in, enemies die, and hey, great, fun. This game just fails at that, and with... Is this game worth your time? No, because with X-Men out there, The Simpsons, Final Fight, Magic Sword. All the original games there are actually re-released on the systems in their original format, and they still play better than this. And then you have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was the Turtles in Time version was re-envisioned, re-wrapped, and put out in a modern package on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and possibly PC. I don't know if it's on PC or not. But they took those games, pumped them up, made them modern, and boom, they work. This game still feels broken. It feels broken. So, I, I just... When control fails, I can't recommend a game. Morally speaking, what's wrong with this game? Well, of course, there's... Martial arts violence, which, if you have issues with that, you may not want your kids playing it. Um, there's the whole alien type scenario, you kind of go into space, and I can't tell if they're trying to make Shadow Boss out to be an alien or what, but for some reason you end up in space and uh, you end up fighting like alien robot type things, whatever. So if you have issues with the aliens, yeah, no. Um, on top of that, you also have Linda. Uh, back in the day, everyone loved Linda. Why? Because horny little teenagers love girls that dress like hookers. And yeah, her dress may be offensive to some parents, so if you don't like that, that's another strike against the game. So even if morally they fix all those things, the control really is what would break this for me. So. I just, I can't recommend this one in any way, shape, or form. Oh, 